Greetings. Welcome to the Rogue Cook. My name is Steve. I've been a professional cook over the last 42 years. I don't call myself chef. It's an abused title in America. And uh, according to the culinary institutes, it's an earned title. So basically, anybody that wants to can call themselves chef. So I do not. Besides that, chef is just a French word for chief. It only refers to the management. So, my first introduction to cooking, I was about seven years old. I told my mother I was hungry. She simply pointed a finger and she said, there's the kitchen. And started to teach me how to cook. Then at 17, I started to do short order cooking on weekends in a local uh, um, yeah, breakfast deli kind of place. And from there, I've been all over the place. I did barbecue cooking in Key Largo, Florida. <clears throat> I did steak work in Columbia, South Carolina. I was a saute cook in Greenville, South Carolina. Then about 20, 22 years or so back, I was working in a casino in Oregon. And in places like that, it's common that, graduary, that culinary students that are getting ready to graduate, that are in the last few weeks of their training, are sent out to various businesses to get some field experience, a little hands-on training. It was there I was working with a young lady one night, and it was quiet, and we were chatting, and she asked me what culinary school I went to. When I told her I had not, that I never went to a culinary school, she stuck her nose way up in the air, and looking down it at me, she goes, oh, you're one of those rogue cooks. I thought about it for a second or two, and I smiled, and I said, yeah, I like that. I guess I am a rogue cook. It's a derogatory term used by certain groups of culinary graduates that think they're aloof, and uh, I wear it as a badge of honor. I'm proud to be a rogue cook. And I've worked with rogue chefs and maestros over the years that would put those, uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to go there. I've worked with some culinary students who were just fine, fine individuals. Uh, the Culinary Institute of America, known as the CIA, I have the utmost respect for. There's a few more I'm not so happy with. But in any case, welcome to the Rogue Cook. Here, we will teach you simple, common sense cooking. We will show you um, ways to eat healthier. I can show you how to shop better, cheaper. I co-authored a book with one of my brothers. He was a truck driver at the time. Uh, over the last 16 years, I've been working as a chief steward on various uh, vessels, fishing vessels, research vessels, tankers, all kinds of things, oil rigs, all that. So I was home because we do block time, so we have a lot of time off. And I was home, and he was on the road driving truck, and he kept calling me uh, for advice because he didn't want to eat fast food crap. Uh, we live basically salt-free, and this was an issue. Plus, it's really, really expensive to live on fast food. So I started to help him over the phone, and one day... He made a joke. He said, you know, we ought to write a book about this. I said, well, I got time. So we put our heads together, and we wrote a book. I have a copy here. Hold on. Obviously, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> so, yeah. Trucker's Survival Guide to Eating In was republished last year. Original publication was in 2012, but it's still current. And it's not just for truck drivers. It's a self-help kind of book. Shows simple things, simple ways of cooking, common sense stuff. Um, and it's very affordable. I think you can get the uh, uh, Kindle download for 2 or $3. The soft cover, I think, runs 6 uh, I don't remember what the hard cover is, but they're not that expensive, you know. Drop me a line on my on my uh, YouTube site, and I'll send you a copy. I'll even autograph it. All right. But the bottom line here on the Rogue Cook, you're going to learn how to have simple, healthy, culinary fun. You're not going to hear a whole lot of fancy foo-foo words. 
I don't give a tanker's damn about a garnish. I'm not going to slop food on the plate, but I will make it as presentable without going over the top. And uh, we'll just have fun cook. Come and see me. We'll uh, share ideas, swap some lies, have some fun. So, good salivations to everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Eat well and be kind to one another.